Risk of Rain is a 16-bit 2D side-scroller with roguelike elements. Its story takes place as a ship is demolished and sent hurling into an unknown planet. You play as one of the survivors who crashed along with it. The game works just like any other roguelike. The player must progress through each level and if the player dies, they must start from the beginning again. Each level contains a teleporter. Once activated, the player must defend against a horde of monsters. Once the horde is cleared, they may progress on to the next level. When a player defeats a monster, they get money. This money can be spent on chests, which drop random items which can benefit the player. However, once the player dies, all their items are lost and must start from the beginning again. In terms of gameplay, the player is offered many different characters with different playstyles to choose. Each character has a unique set of four abilities, so each playthrough is different from the last. The game's retro theme is very pleasant to look at. The game can get very hectic. However, the game does a good job of making each character stand out so the player never gets lost. The soundtrack sets a very grainy tone for the game. And like most indie games, the soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack is so well made that it can easily stand alone without the game. The main gripe with the game is that it does not have dedicated servers for its multiplayer. Therefore it's quite difficult to set up port forwarding between players so they can play with each other. All in all, the game is a great standalone indie title. Although it falls short in its multiplayer connectivity, it makes up for in gameplay visuals and a great soundtrack. With all these factors considered, I'd rate Risk of Rain 9 out of 10.